Hey class, Dr. Sam's here. Wanted to take a minute uh, for your consumer messaging part one uh, expert interview podcast and let's uh, walk through the summary and then what uh, what the requirement is. So I won't read through all this first part because I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, we do want to start here uh, on this uh, last paragraph. In this multi-part assignment, you will in, you will interview a digital marketing expert who uses consumer messaging delivery platforms to connect with uh, their customers. You will create a podcast in the interview with the digital marketing expert. So you'll create the podcast from the interview. Your interview is not the podcast. So uh, hold on to that for a minute. Um, you will then use the knowledge gained from the interview with the digital marketing expert to investigate and further research the interviewee's organization. So you're going to pick somebody to interview, and then you're going to interview the person. Also, you're going to do research on the organization your interviewee works for. I would do all that before the interview. You will review material about specific uh, consumer messaging platforms to position yourself as an expert on the research organization and record a podcast interview with one of your peers. Um, and it says up here on the top some of the content or some of the uh, type uh, systems and softwares that are used today. Okay, you will interview your colleague for a peer interview podcast. You and your peer will discuss the consumer messaging process and explain how consumer messaging and automation work together to advance digital marketing goals and improve uh, customer engagement within research organization. Lastly, you will work together with your peer to produce a unique, fun, and creative podcast for your listeners to enjoy. Okay, now there's two parts to this. It's important to break that down. Okay, part one interview with a digital marketing expert uh, to gather information on an organization's consumer messaging process gather interview questions to us and create the podcast okay so that's part one right now part two is when you bring in your peer and I'll address that in a follow-up video so right now we're going to focus on uh, part one so let's come on down here to the actual instructions uh, also, you want to look, make sure in all your assignments, look at the uh, syllabus because remember the syllabus is also my grading rubric and what I have to grade your assignment on is the in the syllabus. So when it talks to you about what, you know, what construes an outstanding, and which is you get a higher grade and a lower grade, which is not outstanding. So make sure you look at the syllabus. Okay, interview with an expert to gather information on an organization's customer, excuse me, consumer messaging process to create a 10 to 12 minute podcast that investigates and further researches the organization's consumer messaging platforms. Okay, so number one, and we touched on this a minute ago, interview a digital marketing expert to record a podcast that in investigates the organization's consumer messaging platforms, okay? You may interview an expert in your organization or reach out to someone through a social media platform like Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., or somebody you know somebody. Um, okay, that gets you started. So you gotta find the person, right? And it gotta be, in a, uh, they say, a digital marketing expert. Okay, so, Point, uh, bullet point number two, prepare for your interview by researching consumer messaging delivery platforms to develop u uh, unique interview questions to ask the expert. Your interview questions need to provide context and perspective about the organization's consumer messaging delivery platforms to connect with their consumers. You know, as consumers, we're all on the recipient end of we're getting blasted by digital stuff all the time. So a few interview questions are, what consumer messaging platforms do you currently use? How do you engage with your customers? Have you shifted away from XYZ on down? Now, mind you, 
a few example questions. So these are examples. These are not your questions to use because if you see number three down here, submit your interview questions and your recorded podcast. So you will submit your questions as part of your submittal. And these here are examples and not to be used specifically. Okay. So this uh, third bullet point, your interview can be completed remotely using a telephone, Google Meet, Zoom, etc. Note, and this is important, note, if you record the interview, you must request permission to record the interview with the expert at the start of the recording, recording and record as approval. So, you know, something you want to talk about it beforehand. So, I mean, as you're getting it set up, saying, so okay, if I interview you, uh, and, you know, if you forget and you're at the time of the interview and you want to record it, ask them first, hey, I'd really like to record you. Is that okay? And if they say, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine, no problem, then say, okay, I'm going to have to officially ask you for the record. So, as soon as we start this recording, I'm going to ask you if I record. Okay? And that works. Okay, so, you know, um, all this information up here, one and all the sub bullets, gets you to what you're supposed to do, right? Okay, so then what's your deliverable? The point two, create a 10 to 12 minute recorded podcast, and that will be part of the grading. You, know, you have to be 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, recorded podcast from, this again, tying it back up from before, from the interview with the digital marketing expert that addresses all your questions from the interview and research. Okay, first sub bullet. There is. Uh, you can use uh, smartphones or laptops to record the podcast audio. Uh, compiling and editing the podcast use uh, audio editing software such as Audacity or other f or other familiar tool to edit your audio recording. Okay. Now you're gonna re you're gonna interview this person to get um, information, right? So you're educating yourself by interviewing this person based on your research, okay? You're not submitting, so if you do, you know, a Teams or Zoom or Google, and if you record it, that's not what you're submitting, okay? That's giving you information to create your podcast. Now, I know a lot of podcasts are, because when I think podcast, I think of um, somebody interviewing somebody, okay? Broadcast it to the world. Well, that's not necessarily all the time. You know, that's one. It could be, you know, an interviewer and a bunch of interviewees. It could be three or four. But this podcast, it's going to be just you talking about the, the, um, the topic at hand in which you are doing your research for. So... As it says here on the second bullet point, remember, this is not a podcast interview. If you were doing one, like if you, you know, if your podcast was interviewing somebody, that would be or interviewing multiple people or they have conversations. That's a podcast interview. That's not what you're doing. So remember, this is not a podcast interview with the expert, but a podcast from your interview or just you sharing your investigation of the organization's consumer messaging platform so this is a this is you talking to ultimately the world right so you know when you create a, a podcast you create it um, and it can be just audio or it could be you know audio and, and uh, video um, and you're talking about something you're passionate about you know, I could be talking about spoons or something. You're talking about, you know, what the assignment's about. Okay? So, let me make that clear. Your interview with the digital marketing expert is not your podcast. That is you getting more information about the subject that you will talk about in your podcast. It's a single-person podcast that you're going to put out there for people to listen to and to get educated about. There's podcasts, but all types of topics. Okay, so that's how you do it. Um, also, um, what you're going to submit, you're going to submit two things. Uh, number three here, 
submit your interview questions and your recorded podcast by the due date okay now the requirements here need to say submit a podcast and submit your interview questions which i will request to get updated make it clear submitting your questions and you're submitting your podcast okay um both of these videos right here are uh are pieces of information are good uh, you know, you can also go into YouTube and just click and listen to other people if you want to get ideas and just kind of what that looks like, or I'm sure other broadcast platforms that, you know, you can listen to if you don't listen to podcasts all the time. Um, so if we look at the rubric, so here's it is, part one, expert interview podcast. So, the, you know, again, here's, this is basically my grading rubric, right? So... Uh, podcast interview questions so this is worth 40 points and like I said if you just submit copy and paste what's here in the requirements then you're gonna get a zero these have to be your unique questions and you know you can look here so comprehensively and skillfully develops unique interview questions to ask the expert to provide context and perspective about the organization's consumer messaging delivery platforms to connect with your customers. So if you think about it, it's comprehensive. If you look at this first word, comprehensively, then proficiently, working backward, you know, inadequate and minimally. Okay, so 40 points. Um, podcast interview. Um, comprehensively and skillfully creates a 10 to 12 minute recorded podcast from the interview with the digital marketing expert that addresses all the questions from your interview and your research. So that's the key word here, from the interview, not, you know, of the interview, with the interview, it's from the interview, 50 points. So again, comprehensively, uh, connecting, synthesizing, transforming, um, transforms ideas or solutions into entirely new forms. Uh, and the synthesizes, connects, uh, recognizes. So transforms is, it means you're taking all this research and knowledge and you're going to transform it into your own. Um, curious, uh, so explores uh, a topic in depth, yields a rich awareness and or little known information indicating uh, intense interest in the subject. So you know, being curious, you know, where's your passion, and you can hear it coming through your voice, okay? Uh, organ, and that's uh, 15 points. Okay. Uh, organization. Um, organ organizational pattern, specific introduction, and conclusion. So, see, that's why it's important to look at the rubric, because in the requirements, it didn't say introduction and conclusion. So, right here part of the organization part of your grading organizational pattern specific introduction hi you know I'm Dr. Sam today we're going to talk about XYZ and conclusion Dr. Sam's I'm so glad uh, that you took the time to listen to the podcast today about XYZ looking forward to our next podcast something like that right uh, uh, sequence material within the body so nice transitions you know you just it's smooth you've practiced this before because it's not live so you've practiced it as I hear you know you're gonna just it's gonna be like butter you're gonna be really smooth right uh, it's clearly and consistently uh, observable and is skillful and makes the content of the uh, presentation cohesive so practice it uh, a few times you know unless you do this for a living you just get up there and go um, but if you know it's kind of new, then you know definitely practice it because it's going to come across. Um, language, language choices are uh, imaginative, memorable, and compelling, and enhance the uh, effectiveness of the presentation. Language in presentation is appropriate to the audience. Professional language. And this is not uh, not acronyms. You're not texting. You're not slang. It's professional language. Kind of like we think about APA formatting when you're writing something that's professional written language. And um, so this you want to verbalize professional language. 
Okay. Uh, written communication, the ability to express one's ideas through a variety of writing styles, uses graceful uh, language that skillfully communicates meaning to readers with clarity and fluency, and is uh, virtually error-free. Okay, be on point. All right, that uh, concludes what I wanted to cover on um, part one, uh, part one expert interview podcast. I will create another video walking you through number two. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop me an email and I will respond back prop uh, promptly. Thank you.